This is N2LEM with another quick video clip uh, testing the MMDVM uh, multi-mode repeater uh, to show you the flexibility of the three different systems that you could use with one analog homebrew repeater. And the radios that we're going to be testing with is a Titera MD380 DMR radio, uh, an ICOM IC91AD D-Star radio, and a Yaesu Fusion FT2DR. Uh, basically, um, the software that we're using is Adrian VK4 TUX's latest version 12 image, uh, which is a fantastic package. Uh, in the bottom right hand corner, we're running in the background the D Star IRC DDB gateway software with our club call of KD2HCQ, and that's B for UHF. Right now, we're not linked. Uh, the top right corner sh uh, shows the MMDVM host, which shows what server we're connected to and shows the traffic uh, from the in and out of the repeater going to the server and the MMDVM desktop. Now to select what server you want to choose, you can see them at the bottom screen, uh, D star C4 FM. You just basically, uh, you could run the selection by typing M S E R V dot S H, uh, M serve dot S H. And you just hit enter. That'll bring up the server selection. Now, if we want to connect to uh, DMR, we're going to just type in US one. And when we hit enter, you're going to notice that the MMDVM host shuts down in the right corner. Uh, it selects BM server is set to US one. In the top right corner, you will then see a bar pop up, and basically that tells you what server it is connecting to. And you'll see that, there it is, US Brandmeister server. And then the MMDVM host so uh, software starts up. And then at the very bottom, within seconds really, it'll show you that it'll connect logged into the master successfully. You could see all the different parameters with my call sign, the time slots enabled, the Latin longitude you could type in, the gateway information. And now we are connected to DMR on Brandmeister. So basically, I'm gonna take our MD380 and we're going to key it up. You're gonna hear the actual traffic of what it sounds like, the digital pulse, because our re test repeater has an internal speaker. So you could hear what the digital signal sounds like as it goes over the host. So we're gonna key up. This is N2 LEN testing on the echo reflector. We unkey. And two LEN testing on the echo reflector. And then you will see the actual sequences of all the audio packets that get passed. And at the very bottom, you're going to see where it says DMR slot one received RF end of voice transmission, 6.5 seconds, a bit error rate of 0.1%. And then you're going to see received network voice header from uh, talk group 9990, which is the echo reflected to N2LEN, receive network end of voice transmission, 6.6 .6 seconds with 0% packet. And you can see under me are other stations that are keying up with VK3 KNI that's talking right now on talk group 3100. Okay, and this is how we connect to DMR. Now, if we wanted to move over and quickly switch over to D-Star, all we do is we select D-Star. Let's get the mouse right here. We'll type in mserve. And we're going to type in D-S-T-A-R. And then we're going to hit enter. 
Watch how it closes the host screen. It shows you VM server is set to DSTAR. Up in the right corner, you will receive the DSTAR server bar that pops up. DSTAR only mode, and then the host will then begin. And it's logging in to DSTAR. Let me move it over to you so you could actually see it. And there you go. Now, basically, another cool feature that you could do is, as you could see in the IRC DDB gateway software that's running in the background, we are not connected to any reflectors. Well, what's really cool about the MMDVM desktop is that you could actually do remote commands to connect and disconnect to reflectors. So what we'll do is we will bring the mouse over, bear with me, and we'll pull up this is uh, B link to unlink, and here we are, B link to reflector 069 Charlie. So we'll, we'll, what we'll do is we'll hit enter, and you'll see what will happen on the host, and you will also listen on the D star HT. WV5 EKU, BK4 TWX. We are now in... Okay. Uh, and uh, we'll uh, won't be talking with you. Well, this will be on. And I'll let you know the progress. BK-14 UX, WV-5 EKU. Let's see. We're in Reflector 6-9 Charlie. Okay. There was a QSO going on. And actually, you could see the audio pockets that packets that were being transferred... And on the bottom of the screen, it now says in the IRC DB, DDB gateway, KD2HCQ linked to reflector 069 Charlie. And here are the stations that are connected to the system in the logs. And that's basically it. Now, if you want to do a quick key up, it works very similar. You just key up the radio, watch the, the packets, and I'll throw out my call sign. This is N2 L E N. Okay. Is that a recording land or is that you, Ava? And to LEN calling VK4 TUX, just doing a quick uh, test and making a quick video clip, Adrian. How you doing? Yeah, good. I was just uh, going through uh, my day job, you know. I just went through with Don and everything that we, that we did together. Going through the whole three modes. He's run the same image. And uh, I forget what Don said he was running over there. I was, I was trying to find out what his radios were. I don't know if he's still listening, but uh, uh, I was trying to find out what he was running. I think he's running some MCS, like MCS 2000s or something like that. Uh, some sort of, I think it was a remote role or something. Uh, I, mean, I don't have to go back through his emails, but um, I think he said he had the, the MCS 2000s or whatever they are. Anyway, and uh, we've got them working for him on the three modes. If you look at the... Um, the uh, WS, uh, sorry, YSF001 uh, dashboard, you see, um, see Don's uh, repeaters connected up there. Okay, uh, KJ6, uh, okay, all right, let me have a look here. Let me get a call sign for you, make sure I get it right. KJ6 KII, Kilo Jill, Juliet 6, Kilo India, India. That's, uh, that's Don's uh, gateway there, it is like as in California. And two L E N VK four C X. Okay, Adrian, we're going to uh, put this on the side. I'm going to disconnect from the D Star reflector as I make this quick video clip, 
and we're going to uh, move over and try uh, System Fusion. I don't know if you'll be able to uh, uh, give us a quick radio check, but uh, if you can, we would be glad to uh, connect up with you. Back over to you.